Russia and China strengthen their alliance and flex their muscle on the world stage. Welcome to Hide and Seek Media. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the channel and welcome. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I'm your host Hyde and today we're talking about the Russia-China alliance and how it's going to be detrimental for the United States moving forward with this administration. If you haven't been paying attention to the world stage over the last 10 or 15 years, Russia and China have been making all kinds of moves to um, strengthen their positions in the world, right? And while they've been doing this, They've also been run, running anti-American campaigns to try and weaken the United States from within. All right, so you got Russia, all you know, trying to do these hacks. Um, they did their elect, you know, the 2016 election stuff where they were running all kinds of campaigns on, you know, ads on Facebook and stuff. And then you have China, you know, in their Thousand Talents program, you, uh, paying professors from the United States to go over to China and work and then basically come back and spew all their rhetoric, right? So this is how Russia and China kind of infiltrated the United States over the last uh, 12 to 13 years, right? This 2000, I think 2008 is when China's Thousand Talents program started, right? So this has been going on for a long time and it's been going on slowly, right? And anybody who's paying attention to all of this stuff on, you know, that's going on, will know that Russia and China have been trying to do this for a long time, right? Everybody who's paying attention to the world stage and all that knows this. So they've been doing this for at least 12 years that I, that, you know, I know of. That That's when the Thousand Talents program started here in the United States, or that's when China started their Thousand Talents program, right? Now, a lot of speculation can be made here um, as to why they started it in 2008 and how they had eight years of pretty much uninterrupted infiltration into the United States through our colleges, you know, um, and not just any colleges, right? They're, they're, you know, infiltrating us through prominent colleges, right? Harvard and Yale, Princeton, you know, the Ivy League schools, and then you got them going to Caltech, MIT. So <clears throat> it wasn't just that they were infiltrating schools and infiltrating businesses to try and steal technology and whatever. They were doing it because they needed to subvert the United States and the, the American way, right? And so the only way to crush the American way is to first crush their belief in the American way and the American system. And that's exactly what they did over the last, let's say, 12 to 15 years was tell all of our you know all of the younger generation growing up that America's bad America's bad America's bad and so here we are today with Russia and China forming one of forming what I what I'm going to refer to for the rest of this video as the red coalition right so they've been working together for the last few years helping impoverished countries and, and and smaller countries you know build infrastructure and stuff like that in return for you know resources and access to ports and stuff like that that's what china did with venezuela right um and that's that was that's their belt i think it's called the belt and road initiative right where china is doing this they're going to these other countries and helping them with their technology and, and advancing them in some kind of technology or or energy and in return they get access to deep water ports across the country or across the globe and russia is doing the same thing right um so now you have russia and china and iran getting together and they're coming together not only to form their own little coalition but they're coming together to do you know um to really pay attention to what's going on in afghanistan right because now that the biden administration is pulling out our troops and have said they're going to do so by september 11th right um that pretty much tells the taliban and whoever else that hey by september 11th there's going to be a lot of or after september 11th there's going to be a lot of u.s military grade equipment just laying around for you guys to take 
because they're not going to destroy it all. They're going to be told to be left some behind because they need a new group to rise in power so they can turn around and go back over there and fight them, right? Because they have to have their war. So that was one of the things that Trump was trying to stop, right? But so Russia and China are paying attention to Afghanistan because as soon as they pull out and that vacuum happens, what I believe is going to happen is Russia and China, along with Iran, are going to move in, right? They're going to use Iran and move in to Afghanistan and take over control and lay down a government, an authoritarian communist style government like they have in China and Russia and Iran and say, this is how it's going to be in this country. And if you don't like it, we squish you, right? That's what they're going to do. And well, at least that's what I believe they're going to do. And that's why they're paying attention to um, Afghanistan and, and moving troops over there and, you know, talking about controlling the border in Afghanistan because they know the Taliban is going to move in, gain more power, gain control over a lot of U.S. equipment that's left over, and it's going to be, um, all, it's going to be the same as it was 10 years ago. And Russia, China, and Iran all see a benefit in Afghanistan joining their group. You can then utilize Afghanistan as a jumping off point for other you know, for whatever else needs to happen, right? The the whole point is to get another country in the into their group, right? To build their coalition bigger, right? That's why they've got Pakistan on board now. They're going to get Afghanistan through Iran, right? And the the Taliban. That's how they plan on doing that. And then you have China, right? Even though they had been somewhat friendly to India in the past and, and kind of helping them in, so, in certain respects in some points, they are amassing uh, the largest number of troops ever amassed in decades along the China-India border. And something is going to go down there relatively soon. I, at the filming of this video, nothing had happened as of now, so I just want to preface that that at the time that I filmed this, nothing had actually kicked off in India, and I just want to preface that in case something does before I get this video put up. All of these things, right? All of these things are leading to uh, bad signs for the United States, right? We have a large group of communist-style author authoritarian governments coming together and forming a coalition, right? To basically combat NATO and get a larger say in the UN, right? And that's what they're doing. And that's what they want to, you know, that's their whole goal. That's their target goal is to form this red coalition of authoritarian type governments and countries that can push back against NATO and the United States and say, no, I think we need to be taking care of this, not you. Or we need to have a larger say in this, not you, right? That's why it's imperative that we pay attention to what is going on in China, in Russia, right? Because this isn't over, right? This is just the beginning. Russia, China, and, in, and Iran have already come out and, starting, and already starting to flex their muscle against this administration. This coalition is starting to gain some strength, and because of that, they're starting to get a little more they're starting to get emboldened to act out a little bit more because they they don't fear retaliation from the United States. They don't fear this administration or you know what they may they may impose upon them for doing whatever they're they're about to do, right? So then you have this this story that came out just not I think it was 2 days ago, right? Russia, China and Iran all warned the United States to stay out of the Cuba uprising and the Cuba protests that's going on right now in Cuba, where there are thousands and thousands of Cubans who have taken to the streets and are protesting against communism and waving American flags in the air and begging, screaming, Libertad, Libertad, because they want freedom. Look, this Cuba thing really sparks off something that needs to be talked about, right? And that is the fact that there's a lot of people in this country who are afforded the freedoms that they have 
but they are not appreciative of those freedoms. They take them for granted. They abuse them. When you got thousands of people in Cuba, thousands of people in Cuba who are in the streets dying for a chance at freedom. It's the Cuban people saying, we've had enough of your dictatorship. We've had enough of your boot on our throat. We are tired of being taken advantage of and we want our freedom. And we're willing to take to the streets to get it. In Cuba, where these protests are going down, these, pe these protesters, these innocent protesters, these innocent protesters are being gunned down in the streets because they want their freedom. But you won't hear that from the Biden administration. And the Biden administration won't do anything about it. And Russia and China know they won't do anything about it. And that's why they've, they've come out publicly and said, you better stay out. Because they know they'll, they'll, that Biden is weak and he'll back down. He won't do anything because he doesn't want to get into a fight. So what you really have to ask yourself, all right, is do you believe Russia and China want to leave the U.S. alone and just want to be and want their their economies and their stuff to grow and just leave us alone let us be no they want to destroy the United States because we're in the way we are that big bright beacon in the world that shines bright for anybody and everybody who wants freedom that's why we need more people out there speaking the truth bringing the real truth to the to the American people that's what we're here to do that's what I'm here to do that's what this channel is here to do is to expose all of that crap and to speak out for America first and the freedoms that this country provides millions of people every year that never would have gotten them anywhere else on the planet remember that the next time you speak about communism or socialism and how great it is remember that you have the freedom to say that because people in Hong Kong don't have the freedom to say what they want to say about the United States and about their government people in Cuba don't have the freedom to say what they want to say about their government you do that's why we have to continue to, to speak up and, and speak out about the crap we see going on in Washington right now. That's why you have to contact your senators. That's why you have to contact your House representatives. That's why you have to contact your state and local representatives as well. Make them make sure that your voice is heard. We will not go down without a fight and we will not sit back and let you take our country. But we like our freedoms and I'll be damned if I'm going to give them up. So if you agree with me and you want to know more about what's going on in Russia and China, make sure to stay tuned to my channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Help my channel get, get some notoriety and get pushed into the suggested videos. If you think other people should see this content, make sure to share this video. That's the only way my content's going to get out there and this channel's going to grow. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so every share counts. So please, if you think my video should be out there, share this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video and the topic. I'm always willing to engage in conversation. So please, leave a comment. Give me constructive criticism. I can take it. I appreciate you guys watching and everything you guys are doing for me. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.